Hello and welcome back everyone. Geese is released, the goose is loose. We are here with Geese Howard and using Yoshimitsu we're gonna see everything that we can punish, we can flash, or any useful information that we can't get out of. So let's begin. Let's start off with the rage art. Geese Howard's rage art is an unblockable high. Please be sure to duck this move whenever you see it. Geese's traditional 4 plus 1 starter for his combos is actually negative 15 on block if you can believe it. Geese Howard's single Ripuken is actually negative 13 on block, but in order to properly punish this move you have to be directly in his face to be able to get the punish off. And Yeez Howard's double Rapukin mids, believe it or not, are actually negative 15 or higher on block. Uh, it does require tight execution to pull off, and you have to be in range 0, just like the normal Rapukins. As you can see, I'm even I'm having a hard time with this. And these are Geese Howard's half circle back mix ups. He has half circle back 3, which is mid and high, and he has half circle back 4 which is a double mid, but I believe you can punish this move on block. Yes, half circle back plus four is actually negative 14 on block. Yes. Geese Howard also comes with a couple of mid-air red pookins, and these are actually negative 15 on block as well. With the pushback and the actual jumping back that he does, he does have a hard time actually being punished, but for Yoshimitsu, a world time crouch dash 1 or a Fubuki knee that actually hits him will actually be suffice. The maximum move in Geese's list is actually safer on block and actually gives him quite a distinct advantage for combos. Also his, ah oh man, I, I can't even pronounce this, his down back half circle back down 4 1 plus 2 is actually negative 17 on block. However, I don't have the execution right now to be able to do this for you in practice mode. <laughs> Sorry. Geese Howard has a 1-2-2 two, two combo that does jail on block. You can duck the second hit and uh, be able to duck the third hit too, but if you do get hit by the second hit, the third hit jails, but regardless of which, it is negative 12 on block. He has a 1-2-1-1 one, two, one, one string and a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two string. The 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two actually has a super move at the end of it. This one with the ending with the normal high is negative 15 on block. Geese has a 1-2-3 string. This is high mid high. Uh, the best thing you want to do is just to duck this string as much as humanly possible. Geese has a regular just standing 2 that's actually negative 13 on block. Uh, it's also a special mid. I think this can be low parry, but blocking it would probably be the safest option. Geese has a 3-3 string, which is high in mid, but it is negative 14. You can knock him on the ground for it. And this move is 4, pl four plus 2 into 1. Uh, this is a double hitting 1. How can I explain this? It's a 2 hit 1 input, right? And it's a mid high into high. If you do duck the first high, you can duck the second high and get a wall rising punish off of it. It's just the trick is to know that the first input actually has two hits on it. Up next we have a 4 plus 4, which is just a solid negative 13 on block, I think. Negative 13? Yes. Negative 13 on block. 
Up next, I got a 50 50 for you. I got a down forward one into one and a down forward one into four. Down forward one one is safe on block, but it's high, so you can duck it. And down forward one four is a double mid, but that's negative 13 on block. Please punish accordingly. I have another series of moves coming up next. We have down forward three into four, down forward three into four two, down forward three into four three. The trick that I want to use for this is that the down forward three into four two into four three, at the initial down forward three, there's a slight weight in the middle of it. For both of these options afterwards, you can get a flash off of this. Up next we have a generic, well not a generic down low, but we have a D plus 4 for Geese Howard. Uh, this move on block actually crumples as you saw and it is negative 15 on block. I also have down 1 plus 2, this move actually knocks down on hit and is also negative 15, but he can get a unteckable grab once he hits you with this move. This tricky little string is back 3 into 2. Believe it or not, this move is actually negative 15 on block, and you can get yourself a nice launch off of it. Up next we have back 4-4. Four, four. We have our typical low high where you just duck and then punish. This move is wall standing 2 into 4 plus 2 only on hit. This move is negative 14 as it stands alone. If you do get hit with this move, you do get thrown across the map. We have a full crouch down 4 plus 1 here. Just a simple mid, it is negative 14 on block. You can knock him down for it. And up next we have sidestep plus 3. I believe this move knocks down on counter hit. I could be wrong about that. But this move is actually negative 12 on block. And for the final piece of this video, I'm going to explain Geese Howard's parrying technique. I went through his move list, and Geese Howard has three different types of parries. He has a parry for high, he has a parry for mid, and he has a parry for low. So what this means is that Geese Howard simply can't just throw a parry out and expect to uh, just parry everything. Uh, it's not as brain dead as we thought it would have been. So what the case actually is, is he has a high parry that parries highs, a mid parry that parries mids, and a low parry that parries lows, all giving different results for each type of parry. I know another question that may be asked is this, okay, so where does unblockables fall into this? What I think unblockables do is, I think unblockables fall into the area that the parry falls into. So say if you have a an unblockable like Yoshi sword stab and it goes in straight into your chest if geese pair if geese ah, geese parry if geese Howard were to do a mid parry he would parry that unblockable and needless to say it's also a very complicated input that you have to do for these parries so geese Howard makes you work for these parries uh, another beautiful thing is that you can actually mix up the parries. A high parry will never ever parry a mid or a low. A low parry would never crush, well it would never parry a mid or a high. So it's also a 50-50 that works just like that as well. Uh, this was done after the initial recording. It seems like I actually forgot the quarter circle back series. We're starting off with a normal quarter circle back one, which is a high, and it's negative 15. Up next after that will be a quarter circle back 2 into 1. It's high into mid, it's negative 15-ish on block, but you do need good execution to pull this move off. The move after that will be quarter circle back 2 into 3, high with an overhead mid. It's safe on block, but we can't flash that particular string. And then last but not least, we'll have quarter circle back 2 into 4, which is a high and then a sweeping low. It doesn't crumple, but it's still negative 15 on block.
And ladies and gentlemen, this marks the end of my video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Please give my video a like if you did enjoy it. Please drop a comment just to tell me how I can do this video better. My name is Eddie, this is Tekken 7, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. I'm just looking for advice and shit. Maybe write some shit, talk about life and shit, on some other type of shit. It's in my blood, so I don't fight it no more. Just send word to my niggas, I'm not retired no more. Cash.